Welcome to another edition of Bands, Bikes and Booze Reviews. This is going to be an unboxing video. too short to be drinking shitty beer. Uh, the reason it's going to be an unboxing video is because I've just found out another a new supplier um, and they have a pretty good range of beers. So let's get the box open. It's just arrived now. Courier's, uh, that's why Sotty Bollocks is barking. And I don't really like these unboxing videos, but I want to show you this one because it's from uh, a new supplier. Uh, I found them the other day online. I was looking for a certain beer and for the life of me, I can't remember what that beer was. But they're called, um, these, these suppliers had it, they're called Noble Green, and they had this beer, and I decided to check out their range, and they've got some pretty interesting stuff. I, I noticed that they had quite a lot of British beer, and I wanted to review uh, British beer, because, uh, you know, during these times, they really do need a helping hand, and I've got quite a selection uh, from British brewers in here that I couldn't find anywhere else. So even though the postage was expensive, it was £10 postage, which is usually, it's, it's more than, well, I wouldn't say it's more than double, it's about double what I normally get from beers of Europe or um, who's the other lot? Uh, beer sniffers. They're normally about a fiver. These, this lot were a tenner. So let's, let's get the box open and I'll show you what is what now one thing that they do and i i hate these when they're used for packaging is they use them peanuts you know them bloody polystyrene peanuts hang on let me get the box up here rather than struggling oh there's bloody hundreds of them so these are going to go these are going to go everywhere right and that's ten pound across the ball. It's not. Uh, it's not what you order. You know, if you order one beer, it's still going to be ten pounds. Oh, this is going to go absolutely everywhere. Okay, first out of the box, Northern Monk Eternal. I could have got this in Morrison's, but you would have to buy eight of them, six or eight. I can't remember. And I don't. I didn't really want to do that. I just, to be honest, I just want to review one beer. That's why I only buy one beer at a time. But they had this singularly available, so I thought I would get some of that and review that. Next out of the box, I've got some of this stuff. Now, this is the Gypsy Hill Brewery, and a lot of people have been reviewing their beers lately, and one of my mates has just been reviewing, not reviewing it, but he's been drinking their stuff, and he said it's really good. I think... I've had one of theirs, or a collaboration of theirs, and I do remember it being quite good. So I thought I'd check it out. So I got hold of some of their Bandit Gluten-Free Pale Ale. I'm always interested in gluten-free beers because, as you know, not me personally, but I know some people who've got gluten intolerances. So I thought I'll give that a go. And I've got some more of their uh, Gypsy Hill stuff. It's the Hunter Hellas Lager. I'm always interested in the lagers that these craft brewers are doing too. I just want to see how good they are. To be honest, so far, I've not really been impressed much by the, uh, by the craft brewers and the lager that they're producing. Next up is a local brewer, the Whitstable Brewery. They're based in Whitstable in Kent and They've got what's called an East India Pale Ale. Now, I'm not sure whether that's an East Coast IPA that they're talking about or something different, but I'll have to look that up and I will fill you in on what that is. I, the lighting in here is absolute dog shit, but that's what the label looks like. And again, when it comes down to supporting local breweries, they are a local brewer. Next up is Harvey's. 
Their Harveys are a fantastic brewery. I really like what they do. They are so good that some of the fullest pubs stock their beer. They're based in a place called Lewis in Sussex and they do all the traditional British type beers. They do a bitter, pale ales, IPAs, but they're a really good brewer. I love what they do on draft. I've just never seen their bottles around in the supermarkets, but I saw them on this Noble Green and I thought, I'll give them a go. I want people to know about them because they are good. They're a, a brewer that I think quite a lot of. Next out of the bottle, out of the bottle, out of the, uh, out of the box, this, Sam Smith's India Ale. Now I love Sam Smith's. You know, if you've seen any of my reviews on Sam Smith's, I absolutely love their stuff. That is the last one in the range for me to review. I couldn't find that anywhere. So, you know, I always keep an eye out for it. I couldn't find it in any supermarket, but I managed to get it on there, which is good. And, you know, if any online retailer is gonna do the beer that I want, I am gonna buy it from them, you know, regardless of the cost of post postage, sorry. Now the next one, is the reason I discovered this uh, Noble Green online beer retailer. I was looking for this stuff. Now, if you're of a certain age, like I am, you will remember Hofmeister. This isn't the shitty lager that you got in the 80s. This name has been taken over. It is now brewed in Bavaria. And I wanted to revisit it because as a young man, I think I was young once, that was a long time ago. I used to drink Hofmeister because you know it was one of the it was one of the shitty lagers that you'd get. I think it was 3.8%. It was crap stuff, but you know when you're that age, you don't really know. So yeah, I got some of that, and I got some more Harvey's um, Harvey stuff. Harvey's Elizabethan Ale. Not tried this. This looks intriguing. It's like a, an old ale. It's 7.5%, and it's in a 275 mil bottle but it's come from Harvey's. And as you know, and as I've just said, I really like their stuff. So I thought that is definitely got to go in there. Yet again, another Harvey's beer. This is their Prince of Denmark. This is their Ruby Ale. This looks absolutely amazing stuff. I cannot wait to try that. What else have we got? I think it's only two more. Ah, now, see again, Getting hold of beer, for me, is sometimes quite difficult. A lot of the supermarkets, they just don't stock it. And I have to go online to get it. But would you believe, Shepherd Neem, who were just down the road from me, and I've done, you know, I've ridden down to the, the brewery on the bike, I couldn't find this double stout anywhere. None of the local supermarkets were doing it. And I had to get it online, which I think is a disgrace. But I've got it now. I've heard so many good things about that, and if it's come from Shepherd Neem, then it's going to be good, in my opinion. They just get things right. And I think there's one more left. And that last one is another Harvey's beer, and it's their Christmas Ale. It's the, uh, yeah, it's just Harvey's Christmas Ale. And I'm drinking these at the wrong time. It's the middle of summer, but who cares? And that's about it. I've got a bag full of a box full of peanuts now polystyrene peanuts as they're called to get rid of but i just thought i'd show you that the only reason it is is i'm, I'm showing you this is because it's a new um it's a new online retailer that i've done now just quick price list for you if you're interested i'll go from the yeah the, the delivery charge was a tenner okay there was uh for all that lot that was uh 38.70 and that seems a bit excessive, but there's beers there that I just couldn't get anywhere. Uh, I've got the Harvey's Christmas Ale, that came in at £2.33. Uh, the Sam Smith's India Ale was £2.50. Harvey's Prince of Denmark was £2.50. The Whitstable Brewery East India Pale Ale, £2.50. The Harvey's George, Georgian Dragon, that was £2.67. The Harvey's Elizabethan Ale was £2.17. The Shepherd Neem Double Stout was £2.08. The Gypsy Hill Hell's Lager was £2. The Northern Monk Eternal Stuff in the can, that was £1.83. 
The Gypsy Hill gluten-free uh, pale ale, the Bandit gluten-free pale ale was 175. The Hofmeister Hellas Lager was £1.58. And yeah, and that's it. And delivery charge. It's this delivery charge was 8 33 I thought it was a tenner, but it's £8.33. So there you go. Not one beer there over £3. I'm assuming they're all good ones. I know for a fact that the Sam Smith's is, is going to be a good one. The Harvey stuff is good. When I say good, I'm assuming they're good. Uh, I've heard so many good things about the Hofmeister stuff that I really had to try it. And all in all, the Gypsy Hill stuff, I've heard reasonably good things about that. And of course, Northern Monk, you can't go wrong with him. So, stay tuned. These will all be reviewed and they will be going up on the channel as soon as I've done it. And remember, just like this lot, beer is working class champagne.